I would like to discuss today is the look of how to install it, uh, the add-in, uh, at the same time how to use it. It's an alternate, basically uh, your your lookups, lookup, we lookup, and uh, age lookup. Okay, so first of all, obviously I'll share the link of the for the add-on. You can find it on my website. It's when uh, resources, okay, spreadsheets, and you'll find the add-in. Just download this. Uh, once you have downloaded this, um, you'll simply um, go into Excel. Okay, so you'll directly comment. I've already done it. So over here, you just need to come into the options. You know that once you're in the options, you'll find is added. Okay, in the option, you find add in. So you will see over here is manage Excel add-ins. So click on go and you simply browse. Browse for the location. It just went in my downloads and this is what I have. Okay, so just click on this, you'll see, okay. Okay, it's already there, so obviously I will, I will not I will not replace it. And you press OK. So after you, you've done this, you will see is that your since your X lookup was not working in your previous versions, down 10, 13, 14, 19, um, and now it will be working. So now let's look at what X lookup actually is. It's an alter, it's very, very, very good, convenient. But um, if the question does not ask you to use X lookup, I would advise you not to use it. You stick to the previous functions, okay? Only if the examiner says that you have to use XLOOKUP, for which there are very less chances, but still, you should know it anyway. So um, XLOOKUP, now what we're doing over here is, um, we, we have some employee ID over here, and I have some employee name, so I want the employee name. So what we've done over here is, um, simply I have typed over here, very simple, is uh, X7, okay? So I want to find the employee ID, uh, A7, sorry. And I would like to search this from here, okay, comma, and I want the resultant value from here. So here we go. I get the answer over here. So you see, um, it just works in the same way, okay, just like the way your simple lookup works. So the, the different ways uh, X lookup can work. There's another uh, way, which is which is a, a good one. So for example, over here is that um, if not found, then what happens? What I mean is, uh, what is in A30? In A30, I have is the employee ID. And I'm trying to search this from this employee ID. I'm trying to search it from this range, okay? From here, from the employee ID. Comma, um, uh, the resultant, which is this one, this column. And comma, we have another thing over here which was not available in VLOOKUP. I can write a comma if not found. Okay, although this could have been handled through the if error as well, using if error with VLOOKUP, same way it could have worked. So you see over here is what we've done. Uh, in this case, let's say if I do is, if I add an ID, which is different, which is not over here, let me add two, four, it will say not found because the following ID was not here. So uh, just have a look at this. This is the way, this is another example that how XLOOKUP can be used, okay? Um, then we have a very interesting, um, yeah, this is a bit, bit advanced, but still no harm in doing it, okay? Now, for example, you are doing this. Um, I want to find the value, uh, the income, which is in over here, okay? This income, I'm trying to find this. And I'm trying to find this from this column, the maximum income column. And I want to search back. I want text rate. Okay, um, why do we have zero? Okay, uh, it sets, the, this zero basically means is if not found. Okay, if not found argument to zero. Okay, if you don't found, then it will give you zero. Why do we have the next one? It says match mode. Match mode basically means is, um, which means that the uh, function will look for the exact match. Okay, if it finds it or not. And the last one, what we have is basically your search mode, which means that we are going to search uh, from the very beginning. So we start from the very beginning. This is what one is. So last, this one uh, is for the starting from the beginning, this one to uh, basically uh, find the exact match, and this is for the exact match. So this is how this basically works. And lastly, again, um, the, the example four, we don't have to do this because this is much more complicated it's for A-levels. Uh, this is not to the index and match, absolutely not.
And then this is exactly, if you look at this example, this is exactly the way your previous functions of lookup also work. So you can see over here is what I have in F2 is Brazil. And then I want to search it from the country, where the country, this column, and the resultant value is this. So obviously it gives me uh, the code for that. Okay. So this is the way your actually XLOOKUP works, right? So I've told you how to install it in any of the version. And the, you can just uh, practice the following thing. I will share uh, the following sheet as well in the link below. Okay, thank you.